Hello traders, let's take a look at an oscillator indicator. The momentum is an unbounded oscillator that plots price evolution information above and below a 100 central level. What's different about this oscillator is the fact that it doesn't get stuck either on the upside or the downside in those areas commonly known as overbought or oversold. It doesn't have any of those areas like other oscillators do. The momentum in a market is useful to be gauged in order to assess whether a market is still able to give back something in return for the risk we take. The momentum indicator follows the price pretty closely and is useful to enter based on its signal a position especially for short-term trading. The 100 level of the oscillator can be used as a line in the sand and crossing it can be taken as a signal to enter in that direction. The cross back can also be used as an exit signal if no other more sophisticated exit strategies are in place. Let's see now how it can be used in a manual or automated strategy. As we see, a sideways market usually causes the oscillator to move back and forth below and above the 100 level. So, in order to reduce the false signals and discard the less useful ones, we need a way to filter for sideways markets. For that I'm proposing a moving average and because this chart is an one hour chart we'll be using a 24 simple moving average applies applied to the close price. Why a 24 and not a 20 or a 60 or a 100? Because we want to be able to enter on a one hour chart looking at a higher time frame trend and a 24 simple moving average on a one hour chart should give us a pretty good idea about what happened in the last 24 periods so it's akin to a daily trend. Let's look at the areas that may cause problems giving false signals. What do we notice? We notice that by the time the moving average catches the price, because the moving average will, will always lag behind the price, the market is already in a sideways move for some time. So whenever the price evolves close to the moving average, we know that the moving average had enough time to catch the price and that may be a sideways moving market. So we will take special attention to those areas where the price is hugging the moving average. For a momentum based strategy to work we need momentum by definition. So where the price evolves in a decisive manner around a moving average and crosses it with big candles, that's a good enough signal for us and we will try to take those opportunities. Now let's scroll to the left and move to the right. We don't know what will happen in the future and we'll try to not cheat. We are looking for a cross over or under and we have a cross on this candle. The price is well below the moving average and 
we can take a sell signal because the moving average is telling us that we may have a downtrend. So let's mark this entry on the chart. And we'll use trend lines because the seg segments can be more visible. We'll make that our entry because the price crossed down and we need a target and a stop loss. We'll make the entry. purple, the target will remain blue and the stop, stop loss will make it tomato. And now let's see how we pick our target, let's see how we pick our stop loss. If we are in a one to one reward to risk ratio type strategy. Let's say we are placing the stop loss of the moving average or behind the nearest swing high. In this case this is way too far and we'll make it here. The entry should be on the candle after the cross, so it will be here. The stop loss will make it the moving average, the distance will have it at 12 fips, and the target about the same distance. And this entry here moves downwards, retraces, doesn't touch the stop loss and eventually is taken out about here. So we have a win. Now we're looking for another cross, moving to the right. We have a cross up and we see that the price is already evolving in a sideways manner. The moving average already caught up with the price, so we may have a sideways moving market confirmation and we are discarding this signal. We have a cross up and some distance from the moving average. Let's consider this an entry. And repeat the process. So the price crosses to the upside. On the next candle we try to enter. The entry should be here at the candle open. Let's see where do we place our stop. The previous swing low seems a reasonable choice here. And the target the same distance. We have about 11 pips stop loss 
and about the same distance target we have another win and moving to the right let's look for an area where we have some bigger moves to see whether the crossing the other way can be used as an exit signal for example we have here a fake out not enough separation from the moving average so maybe a sideways market small candles in relation to the previous period so that may be a time in a day when the market is less liquid as soon as the signal is given and we have some separation between the price and the moving average we may consider entering we have downward momentum here and an entry on this candle would result in a pretty substantial gain uh, up to the this point and eventually a re-entry sideways market price hugs the moving average a uh, moving average caught up the price now enter no entry here here the same story the price is too close and the moving average is has had enough time to to cut to catch the price no entry here here we have a cross up a good enough momentum to the upside we may enter at this candle we may hold the trade until the crossing back here that would be an 80 something pips if we didn't Uh, set an arbitrary take profit on stop loss levels so the indicator can also be used as an exit signal when we have big, big moves so the problem with the oscillators as always is filtering the entry signals and knowing when to use them and when to ask for more confirmation that being said i wish you good luck and good peeps to see more please subscribe give us a thumb up and share our clips